I'd like to hear your top five records. Um, okay, I've got a story to probably most of them as well. That's a good one. Fire away. Uh, one of the, the one of the greatest record dealers on the planet in, in the 70s and the 80s and probably the 90s as well was a guy called Rip Lay mm -hmm. from, uh, from uh, Concord, California. And he had millions and millions and millions of records. He's a great guy. Massive, massive personality. Always a joker. Like when we used to go for dinner. I first met him in 76. And when we used to go to dinner, he would say things like... Uh, you know when it'd, uh, it'd go uh, Cliff Richard party or two, when they'd you know, mm -hmm. sit there and shout out Cliff Richard and, I, and I'd stand up and walk in with it. We'd go Raul Donner, Raul, he was a big Raul Donner fan, he always used to say Raul Donner party or two. And uh, it's such fun to be with and he, he used to go, to, we used to go down to his local uh, barbecue pit and uh, he flirted with the waitresses in there outrageously. <laughs> Totally outraged, but he was really good at it. He was a very, very um, uh, personable guy, very likable guy, and he, he just got away with murder. So anyway, one night he, he flirted with the waitress and he said, what time are you getting off? And uh, she said, well, I'll be finished about 10. She, she, he says, I'll give you a lift home. So I'm sitting there thinking, oh, you're terrible. You know? <laughs> it's sort of like just we all know someone over. like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Everybody, we all know somebody like that. But he sat. He, he, but his pulling line was, "Do you know Johnny Guitar?" And uh, she says, "No, Johnny Guitar." He says, "Yeah, he 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 backs Cliff Richard." He loves it. <laughs> so I'm sitting there thinking. Okay. Um, I can't, Sweet talker. Okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> uh, um, I'm sitting there thinking, anyway, we, we got in the car and he puts a cassette on and he already set it up. He knew what he was doing that night. He does this great guitar instrumental thing where it's just wild, just absolutely messy. This is Johnny Guitar. This is him. This is you, isn't it, Johnny? I said, yeah, yeah. He says, and how long have you been with, going, how long have you been with Cliff Richard? I said, oh, it must be about 15 years now. And he goes, and pulls up. And uh, it stopped outside her house and she got out of the car and she said, oh, you're all coming in for coffee. I, I says to her, I says, if she's got a fucking guitar hanging on her wall, I'm going to kill you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing by that you can't play any anything. Anything, no, I can't whatsoever. play anything. Nothing, <laughs> nothing at all. But he, 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 was, he was funny. So my first favourite record was one that he used to play in his, um, in his uh, uh, car was uh, Latimer, well, Let's Straighten It Out. Describe That's it. A, it's a deep soul ballad. Nice. It's um, 1975, 70. But he, he, he would shock me with something like that because he was really a, a do what guy. Right. But he would play great records in his car. So let me think of uh, another favourite record. Um, something that really, really. Uh, yeah, anything. Um, yeah, I, 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 I want to hear, hear the voices crack a little bit. You know. So I don't know. I don't, can't even think of anything else to that. Really blows me away. Um, I like Beat Ballad of the Heavens. I, oh, I, I love, I, I Beat love uh, um, every time I hear um, things like Clive McFatter mm. uh, and people can't afford to cry. Things. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love all the stuff but like I, that. I honestly think if you ask any uh, soul collector, soul dealer, without them sitting down and really thinking about it and then writing them down, then telling you, and there'll be a different five tomorrow. I, 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 th I think my favourite five are the ones I played today, if that helps. But, you the know, ones you played today. I can remember every record I ever found, though. You know, I can, uh, I can remember the day I discovered Larry Clinton.